hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video let's create a block page and we'll see how to create a front end part and let's play the intro and move on to the coding part So let's start with the session. So I'll come back to my database models tables. So first we'll create a database table, which database table we need to have here. So here I'll be creating a block table here. So I'll say class, so I'll just create a database table name as a block. So blocks I'll just create it. So here same as it is. So models dot model. I need to give the same command. So once the database table is created, so here I want to inside my block title, I need to add a title, description, author name, images, as well as a timestamp. So I'll say first of all I need to have a title. So I'll say models dot. So I need to have a models dot. I need to get a character field. So of the particular maximum length, I'll just give the maximum length to I want to make it to 60. So the more than or else I can just make it to 100. Okay. So I want to have a 100 as a maximum length. So along with that, I need to create a description. I need to have a description. D E S C R I P description. So I need to have a description of a text field. I'll say models dot text text of field here so i'll just uh, make the models as a text field so then it is done i want to have a author name here so i'll say what is the author name who is the author name is getting posted i'll say models uh, model models dot uh, and here i'll just say for the author name i'll just mention as a character field itself i'll say care field so you and i'll just say the particular maximum length should be around 50 okay whichever like you can just give it here so next thing is an image so i'll say whatever the img image i'll give image is there so i'll say models dot so here i'll be using an image field i want to upload an image also so i'll say models dot image image field here i need to say where i need to upload so i'll say upload to here i need to give this particular uh, field so where means wherever uh, it will be uploaded here what it will do means once i select the image won't get uh, stored inside my database only the image path will get stored over here because in the database administration it will handle the text content and the images and all the files will be handled separately by our media files inside the django so here i'll say upload to so i'll say upload to so where I need, i'll just tell upload to pics pix. So i'll say upload to the particular pictures over here so i'll just say this much and even if it's i cannot if i know i'm not applying the images even i can just leave it blank also so i can just say one more attribute blank is equal to true once i give blank is equal to true that means uh even if i can leave it blank even if it's give the null is equal to true i need to make these two things that is in blank is equal to true, null is equal to true so once it is done i need to say time stamp here i'll say uh time stamp 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 i want to have a time stamp field so i'll say your models dot date time field i'll say date time field here i'll use a date time field so here it should automatically add it i'll say auto now here so i'll just tell auto now add so automatically which time is there it should get added over here auto no to true uh, true i'll just save it here so you want uh, i'll just save this much so this much will be the our database table and we need to install for we are handling a images over here for the images we need to install one module so you can say uh, my server is running at one uh, server so i'll just create a one more plus command so I need to install a module that is a pip install capital P I L L O W pillow. So pillow is a module which will handle our images stuff inside the Django. So you need to install this particular module that is a pip install pillow. So once the pillow is get installed, you can just uh, use that one. So I have already installed in my laptop. So it will be say requirement already satisfied now. So then I'll come inside my terminal CD project. So now I need to run the command. So I said you before whenever you do any changes with your uh, database administration that is a model stable minor models python field so i need to run what i need to run the migration so i'll say python manage.py make migrations so i'll say python manage.py make migrations you can see created a model that is a blog has been created once it is done i'll say python manage.py migrate m i g r a t e migrate so once i done you can see the migrations has been applied over here so once it is applied so you can see once it is done so what i'll do here is i need to register this particular model inside my administration i'll say to come back to my admin panel so here i'll just uh, load that particular block table so once i have loaded so i'll register inside my admin panel so you can see blocks has been registered over here so once i come if i just go to the slash admin page you can see here is what you can see here is you can see if i just go to the blocks so you can see i'm having a zero block over here i can see i'm having a zero block here so if i just click on to the add block you can see 
the particular uh, blog will be created i can just add a number of pictures over here so the one main important here is i want to add a media directory so here i need to create one media folder here first i see how this is a very important step so here i just click on to the project so where if i just save one data field so where the image will get stored i need to handle that one so i'll create one media directory here so i'll say inside my project directory i'll create one new folder i'll just make it as a media so once i click on to the media you can see the media will be getting in this particular fashion so why i need to add this particular media directory inside my settings.po file i'll say so what are the static uh, same thing however i have added as a static url for the static file i need to handle it same for the media files also so i'll just come into my new line sorry i'll just uh, come here so what i'll say here is i'll say the media url i'll say media so i'll say media url same like uh, media path so say i'll say like a media url is equal to i'll say so just uh, see the media directory which i have created and the spelling should be same so then i'll need to add a media root i'll need to add a media root here i'll just tell media root i'll just add the root so here i'll just tell my operating system os dot path dot join so i'll say os dot path dot join so i want to join it as a base directory the folder name is what media i'll say m e d i a media so i'll just save it like this and here i'll just import the particular operating system i'll say import os i'll say import os so i have imported the operating system i have said a media url is equal to slash media then i have said base directory as a media so once it is done so i need to load this particular media directory where so i need to load this particular media directory inside my um, urls.po file i'll just go to my urls.po file so i'll just go to the urls.po file from uh, here so once it is done i need to add some of the path over here so first what i need to do, add here is first i need to import this particular stuff so i need to import these two things inside my url so what i'll say here is so inside my new line what i'll say here is from uh, so i'll say from django dot configuration first of all i need to import what i need to import the settings so then i need to import the static files here i need to import from django dot conf dot uh, urls dot static so i need to import static so i want to import this two things that is the settings as well as the static folder so once it is done i need to attach along with the admin as well as this particular path i need to attach the data so whatever the data is there whatever the images is there from the directory which i'll be storing now so that images i need to send it to this url so that i can just access inside my other uh, other files i'll say plus static directory so i'll say static just attach the static directory so i'll just say go to my settings whichever i have imported so settings sorry settings dot so i have given as a media directory so i have given as a media directory so if i just tell m e uh, d i a media so media url sorry for media url so i have given as a media url you can see so it is means go to my settings dot media url it will go to the settings dot file and it will go to the media url same way i need to get i need to attach one more thing what media url i need to attach so then i need to attach one more that is a document root so i'll say so as i say document so do you document so document root so i need to give the document root is equal to uh, i need to say settings settings dot media root so i'll say for the whatever the root directory is there just get the particular root directory is a settings dot media root so this is the one thing i need to supply it so once it is done so once you have uh, done these two things so this is very much important no one gonna teach you this one like how to store the images and it is very difficult which i was learning at that time it was very difficult to me to understand is all the concepts so right now so we'll see how whether the things works or not so once i say so only three things i did i have added this line of code i have imported this line of code and i have added this line of code and i have created a media directory you can see i don't have anything inside my media directory just a empty folder so now let's see and i'll see so i'll just say i'll just create a django i'll just create the particular title as a django i'll say Django is a Django is a best framework in Python. In uh, Python, I hope you are enjoying this course. So I'll say something like this. So author name, obviously my name. I'll just give it here. No, I'll select the image. So once I select the particular image, so I'll select any image over here. I'll select this particular AR dot JPG image. So once I select this one. The image will get selected once i save so you can see 
the blog post has been shared. You can see if I open. So now see if I open, it will be open. Like if I just try to click on to the image, you can see image is also getting opened. So that means I obviously I will be that means so I'll be only posting the blog. So I have not created an extra form inside my front end. If you want, you can do it, no problem. So then you can see i'll come back here so now see if i just open this media directory you can see pix folder has been created so before it was empty now see the pix folder is created and the image is also been stored over here so you can see the image is also getting loaded so how because because of that i have said inside my applications model that is a just create a folder that is a pictures and upload it in over here so next if i upload one anyone so i can just if i can upload one more here so i'll say here if i just say here as a title name as if i just say as a node.js i'll say node.js is also a best framework i like it okay something so here i'll say the author name i'll just give it as a khan and i'll just say the image's name so here i want to image i want to get one image over here so what image i'll just say here is so i'll say image i'll just use this particular image so i'll just image use this image and i'll just save it so you can see image is getting saved so for the blog post even if i want to clear the image i can clear even i can just choose one more image so i can just change the particular image also here i'll just save this particular image so i can see it is saying me now no file is chosen okay so i'll just say here is i'll just select this particular image so you can see the work file is there so i'll just uh, save this one so you can see the image is getting saved now you can see i'm getting object as a written object so what i need to do i'll just uh, copy this one so i want to paste this one so i'll return the particular str over here so I'll just uh, return the str over it will say message from so i'll say uploaded by uploaded u p l o uploaded by uploaded by i'll just say self dot author name i'll just say uploaded by self dot author name so once i save this one you can see if i come back and refresh you can see uploaded by khan uploaded by anis so this is how uh, we have been seen so next in next video we'll see how to display that particular data inside this particular block page okay so we'll render that particular uh, whatever the data we have saved inside my database administration will be uh, storing rendering in this my block page so that's all for this video if you like this video share subscribe to your friends and uh, uh, share with your friend and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video